Hey everyone, this is Rob at SportRx and we're here to talk about the Smith Insert System. More specifically, the ODS-2 and ODS-3 system in conjunction with the Pivlocks and also a little fun side action, they work with some of the Smith goggles. There's a lot of confusion about these Pivlocks and how they work in prescription and how the insert fits and all of that jazz. So we're gonna try and go over everything for you. This might be a little bit longer, more technical video, so sorry, not too much crazy Rob fun today, but I want you guys to learn a little bit more about the Smith, uh, the Smith setup. So the Pivlock is an amazing pair of sports sunglasses, very popular for cycling. One of the best cycling glasses out there on the market right now. It has a really cool interchangeable feature. Each one comes with different color lenses for different light conditions. The value price proposition is amazing. So these things are killing it everywhere and people want it in prescription. And what you cannot have is just a shield in prescription. There's no embedded technology, there's no way to get this in prescription. The only way to do the Pivlox in RX is with the Smith insert. This is the ODS-2, there's also an ODS-3, they're very, very similar and they work the same. So this video will show you both ways. So um, the first thing to note is the ODS system is gonna work on the original Pivlocks, which are really hard to find now. That actually, these are my favorite, and those are my glasses. Um, and then the new V2 and the V2 Max. Smith claims that the insert works really well also with the Arena and the Arena Max from the Pivlock family. Uh, my expertise and our experience here has proven that it's not such a great fit. So we do not sell the Arena Max with the insert system and I would not recommend it. So the V2 uh, works really, really well with the insert system and so does the original Pivlock if you still have one of those. So how does this all work? Uh, if you get an ODS2, it uh, comes in this box. We don't need that anymore. Uh, comes with the, um, should have your prescription already in here if you order it from SportRx. And this is the way it's gonna come out from the box. Uh, it's a little funky right now. This is the ski insert adapter, this little prong system. So the first thing to clear some confusion is you gotta pull this guy off. It's really easy to pull off. It's a little tab that fits in there, a little male female part, and you just pull it out. So to get it in, if you ever need it in, it just slides right in, it's really obvious. And then to get it out, you just pull that out. So you don't need that anymore. And the way that the insert system works is you remove the nose pad off the shield. I picked a clear shield so you guys can really see what's going on. And the original nose pad is actually adjustable. The RX version is not, so it's just gonna be the middle standard fit. In the box, you're gonna get two nose pads. One's gonna say V2, and one's gonna say V90. The V90 is for the original V90 and V90 Max. The V2 is for the V2. They actually have a different nose pad configuration, so they're not gonna fit within each other. You gotta use the right nose pad. That's the first area, second area of confusion, I guess, that some people have. So the way this system works is the nose pad replaces that nose pad, and this has an extra groove for the insert to fit into. So the insert fits in the second groove or the one closest to the nose pad or the one that would be closest to your face. So there's the insert, or there's the nose pad, there's the insert, and you just follow the groove into that second slot or the slot closest to the nose pad and it should just clip right in. Got to make sure you hear the little snap. And now my guy is in there. So now this replaces that nose pad. And don't worry, you're going to get your fingerprints all over these things. Then you just slide this back in there. And it goes in. So now you have the insert installed into the nose pad, the nose pad installed to the glasses, and you have these in prescription. And that's how that system works. Very, very similarly with the V90, you would just replace the nose pad with the V90 nose pad. I don't really have a preference personally of putting the nose pad in first and then the insert or the insert on the nose pad first. 
doesn't make too much of a difference. The one thing that is a little, you just kind of get that guy out. It's not that hard to get it out. Um, the one thing that is a little bit of work is if you're switching lens colors, well, you got to interchange the shield and then you got to interchange the nose pad back onto the other one. So it's a little bit of work. I don't know if it's something you can really do on the fly in the middle of a ride or would want to try and attempt that. So I got the nose pad in there. Now I'm following the groove to get the insert in. And then boom, you got it in prescription. So the other really cool thing is if you're also a skier and you already have this insert, the Smith Turbo Fan series of goggles, the Phenom, Prophecy, and my favorite IOX Elite Turbo Fan, which there's a great video on on YouTube, um, this insert will fit inside also. And what you would do is get the ski adapter in here, and then this clips on to the inside of the goggle. So the inside of the goggle has a groove system, and you clip it in. At SportRx here, we also make our own prescription ski goggle inserts. And to be honest, I really like our insert better. We do make inserts for all the, all the Smiths and the Turbo fans. So if you really need a dedicated ski insert, I would go with the SportRx version. But I believe that I got this guy in here now too. There we go. Got to hear the clip. So you can also make them into prescription ski goggles with all the same insert. Couple things to note is if you are gonna get these guys in prescription in any one of these systems, for sure get the anti-fog coating from SportRx. That's really essential. That's probably the really the only coating you need on the prescription insert. The insert of course is gonna be a clear tint because you're gonna get the sun protection from the tinted lenses that come with the PivLock system. And then just in case you're also curious real quick on how to interchange the lenses on the piv lock. The piv locks all use the same system. Basically the arms come off from the glasses and you put the arms into the new shield. And the way you do that is you hold the goggle like th the glasses like this, uh, get a hold of your temple piece and you rotate up and they come out. You rotate up and they come out. And then you, uh, there's a T peg basically design. This guy just clips right in there and you click it in. Pretty easy. So then if you needed to do your insert, you would then switch the nose pads and do all that jazz again. So uh, hopefully that uh, clears some confusion about the Smith PivLock system. If you do need PivLocks in prescription, this is the way to do it. We can do those inserts in uh, single vision. We can do them in bifocals. We can do them in progressives. If you have any questions about the system, if you need just the insert, you can get it from SportRx. If you need just the glasses, you can get them from SportRx. If you need the whole combo, you can get them from SportRx. If you need the goggles, you can get them from SportRx. If you need a cool water bottle, you can get it from SportRx. And uh, give us a call or email us. Email is really easy, info at sportrx.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to like the video. Later, later.